Hi gang, Scott here. In this video, we'll take a deeper look at adaptive presets. This is one of the new features coming in on One Photo Raw 2023, and it builds on Mask AI, another new feature coming in Photo Raw 2023. So if you haven't watched my Mask AI video, go check that one out, little button popping up here that'll route you over there or in the show notes, as it'll make adaptive presets, uh, it'll make a lot more sense to you. Uh, a couple other things before we get into the feature is uh, first, I'm using a pre-release version of Photo Raw 2023 in this video. So the final product when it comes out in October of 2022 will uh, potentially look a little different, right? There's still, you know, tweaks and changes and things that Don One's doing to finalize the product. So if you get your hands on it, it looks a little different than what you saw in this video. It's because I'm using a pre-release version of the software. Also, if you are thinking about adding on one to your toolkit, Photo Raw 2023, maybe you're upgrading or their plugins, I'd appreciate it if you use my link below. That gives me a little bit of support. Doesn't cost you anything extra at all. And give my offer code a try, SDP20. That might knock 20% off of the purchase price for you. So with that, let's get into adaptive presets in Photo Raw 2023. So an adaptive preset, all right, what does that really mean? An adaptive preset is, uh, it is a preset, something you would build and construct and be able to apply to a variety of different photos, but it's something that has subject awareness. So it would understand people or animals or mountains or water or trees or things like that. So it leverages the AI masking capability in Photo Raw 2023. So you can quickly construct a mask that says, you know, apply this to people or apply this to foliage or things like that. You can build up presets and then they just really speed up your workflow. Now with the, uh, the exploration that I've done with these tools, these work best when you have clear strong subjects, you know, things that the AI can recognize. Let's start with a, with a portrait example. This is like a classic here. So we're gonna build an adaptive preset right now. So we'll start and develop real quick, just an AI auto for that and uh, auto for the white balance. Moving into effect, this is where you're going to start seeing the adaptive preset power. Let's add a filter. And you want to use these different elements that the AI has detected. I'm interested in making this portrait pop a little bit. So let's choose people. You notice everything turns blue and that's what I'm going to apply my filter to. And for this purpose, we're going to do something maybe a little uh, unusual, dynamic contrast. I don't want that everywhere though. Notice the mask, it already figured out what the person is, set that up for me. In my gear menu, I can say protect the skin, right? and protect the highlights. And what I'm getting is I'm getting a pop on the hair and the eyebrows. Now I can do this with, uh, with some of the portrait tools as well, but you know, dynamic contrast, it's got its own little, uh, little special sauce there. And, and I, I kind of like it. And I normally would paint this in on hair or eyebrows or things like that. So I don't have to do that now. And um, let's see, the tone overall is gonna be fine. That's, that's basically it for this piece. Now the other, um, thing I'll do is just to make the, the portrait jump out and to give you another example of what we can do for building an adaptive preset. Let's add another filter. Once again, I'll choose people and this time black and white. Now this is going to make the person black and white. I don't want this look. You'll see where I'm going in a minute. I'll open up the mask, invert, and the background is black and white. I don't want it all black and white. I just want to tone it down some. So I'm fundamentally desaturating the background a little bit before and after, just making my subject move forward a little bit more. You know, last but not least, I could add a vignette, simple vignette. Let's just go ahead, add a vignette, and let's say, you know, big softy, but maybe at 40-ish percent. You know, so um, that's good enough. I've got my my preset here, I've got these things set up. I want to save these and uh, I want to include the masks. That's the key thing, include the mask when you save the preset. Now, I haven't done any additional painting or adjusting on the masks. I don't want to do that. I want the AI to do that for me because the next photo I apply this to, 
It's going to be a different person. The person is going to be in a different position. All those things. Let the AI figure that out. Don't hand paint when you're building the preset. So let's go ahead and build a preset. We create an adaptive preset just like we do any other preset. We go up to our settings menu and we choose save settings as preset. I'll select what I want involved in this. I don't want portrait AI. I just want develop and effects. Actually, I could include portrait AI because portrait AI has already worked with uh, with presets in the past. But the key thing I want to point out: open up this area here and choose apply masks. The same will hold true if you did anything with local adjustments. You want to include those masks so the AI stuff gets included. And let's just call this adaptive portrait. Okay, I'll save that. Now that's in my preset category that, uh, that I have available. I can switch to another photo, reach for that preset, apply it, and we'll see those same settings, the dynamic contrast, the black and white, the vignette applied, but the adaptive mask AI will figure out the person in this photo and adjust the masks accordingly. So let's go through that process here. I've got another image loaded, certainly a different person in a different location. You can see in develop and effects, I've got nothing applied there. Let's open up my preset panel and choose adaptive portrait. That was the preset we just created. All right, we see a whole bunch of things happened in develop. The uh, AI auto went on for develop and the color there as well. And we look in effects and we'll see that dynamic contrast, that inverted black and white in the vignette. Notice the mask. The mask is a person. Right in here, the mask AI people. The adaptive preset looked at the photo, figured out where the person was, and then applied what I wanted. And so I got this bit of look where I'm getting a little dynamic contrast pop on the hair and the eyebrows. The background has been desaturated a little bit and I fundamentally had to do very little work to get that going. So you know that's uh, adaptive presets in a nutshell. Now uh, for portraits, uh, this is where adaptive presets shine, right? For uh, people, for animals, very clear subjects you have in your photo. Now what about landscapes? I'm a landscape photographer and I wanna use this for landscape photos. Uh, there's maybe a little more challenge there because landscapes can be uh, they they can be, be be messy. They they may not be as structured or ordered as say a portrait. You know where AI is very very good at figuring out faces, but for distinguishing between you know um, all the different elements that are in a landscape, uh, there can be some challenges. So uh, I will show you an example here uh, where I found that you have uh, something reasonably strong, a strong element in the landscape, like a mountain. So this is going to be a good example, a mountain. You can do some good things with adaptive presets. Uh, trees, foliage, you can do good things with adaptive presets. So they do have their place. And uh, I want to show you an example of that. You know, no better way to see it than by example. Start with this photo. There, there's mountains in here. This should be recognizable by Mask AI. And uh, let's begin with uh, some very quick basics. AI auto. I'll just even leave things as shot. We'll go into effects. Uh, what would I normally do to this photo? Uh, I want to do a little bit of work to the mountains themselves. Let's add a filter. We have, you can see all the different elements. We have sky, mountain, flora. So these three things actually, flora, sky, mountain, these are workable. Let's, let's start with mountain dynamic contrast. Okay, a little punch there. Before, after. Great, let's keep going. Add another filter. Let's do flora. And for this I do a color adjustment. And this was uh, late summer, early fall. Let's do fall and maybe back that off to you know, uh, some percentage. Maybe around there feels okay. And then one more filter for, let's say for the sky. Let's do sky. Another color adjustment. And for this one, I might do desert. This was in the desert, just to brighten things up there a little bit. So three different adjustments, one each for segments of the photo. This is a good adaptive preset. Something to the sky, something to the mountains, something to the, the, the foliage in the foreground. These are things we would find in landscapes quite often. So uh, now let's, let's take this, we'll save it as a, an adaptive preset and then try applying it to another landscape. So as before, we'll go to our settings menu, save settings as preset, and once again, make sure you open up that effects area and choose apply masks. 
you don't choose apply masks, you're not going to get that mask AI power. And let's call this one adaptive mountain, right? That was the, the thing I started off thinking, talking about mountains. So we'll save that. I'll turn to another photo now, a very different scene, but those similar elements are going to be there. We'll see how the preset does for us, all right? So here is another scene, uh, very different, a you know, very different mood. There's uh, sky, there's mountains, there's there's flora, there's trees here. Let's uh, reach for our preset and see how it worked. I'll open up my preset panel and I have adaptive mountain. I'll choose that. And we can see that you know a whole bunch of things happened in develop over in effects we have those same pieces applied, but notice the masks are different now, right? There's the mask for the mountain. We look at that, that is right there. It's you know, quite a different mask than the previous photo. And rightly so, because the mountain is in a different place. It's a different mountain. We have our foliage there, we have our sky there. And uh, from here, I would start to do a little bit of work to taste. I think this feels a little bit bright given, uh, given the conditions. I want this to be a little moodier. But that's how we do with things with presets, right? We apply the preset and we make a few tweaks to it. But the key thing here is the adaptiveness, right? Those elements were found. The mountains, the trees, the sky, those were all found. Now for other landscapes like uh, seascapes is really like my, uh, my, my, my primary genre for landscapes. Those are more challenging for adaptive presets. You know, yes, the AI can detect water versus sky and to a degree rocks, but when you have the ocean kind of crashing over rocks and there's a lot of mix between what's rock versus what's water, um, there are more struggles for the AI to figure that out. So I find I'm still reaching for other masking tools to do a different kind of work for me. And that brings one more point I want to point out here about adaptive presets. Something that's been in Photo Raw for several iterations of the product, luminosity masks, and those are adaptive. You can apply luminosity mask. You're running Photo Raw right now. You can do this right now. The luminosity mask is adaptive because it will build the mask based on the photo that you're using. I'll continue with this example here. So a look I like to add to some of my landscapes is a soft glow. So let's add a glow filter just straight away. Add glow to the entire scene and let's pick something that we can certainly see. Okay, charge more normal. We can see that for sure. But uh, you've watched other of my videos. You, you've heard me say this before. In the world of like adding glows, in the natural world, bright things glow and dark things don't. Screams luminosity mask, right? Open up your masking area, click the lumen button, and now I've targeted the glow to the bright things and I've downplayed it on the dark things, right? So before and after, you can see like the clouds and the sky get dreamier, but the rock of the mountain, that's staying more or less crisp. There's a little bit of, of glow to it, but not too strong. This is adaptive. Luminosity masks are adaptive and they have been for a while. Let's go over to my preset area. I'm right clicking on adaptive mountain and I'll update with current settings. Once again, make sure you get in there, open up that effects area, choose that. I'll say update. Now I'm going to return to that photo of the desert and I'll apply that adaptive mountain again. You'll see how that glow mask, that luminosity mask on the glow filter is adaptive. It will use the tones from the photo that it's being applied to. So let's go through it. All right, here's our photo over in effects. We had those three adjustments, color, color, dynamic contrast. Let's apply adaptive mountain again. I'll just click once on it and you can see that change. There's that glow that's been added before and after really brightening things up. It softened out the sky quite a bit. Uh, really warmed, it, not so much warm, but it just added some nice atmosphere to the foreground. But look at the mask. Look at that mask. That's the luminosity mask of the photo we're looking at. I didn't go in there and click lumen button or do anything like that, right? The luminosity mask is in and of itself adaptive. And you know what? So are color range masks. So you start adding in mask AI with luminosity masks, with color range masks, you've got a lot of power at your fingertips to build some very intelligent presets that will really get you far into your processing straight out of the shoot, like right out of the gate. 
you're, you're starting to look good, and you spend your time doing the fine tuning and tweaks just to refine the preset to your taste. Uh, but that's adaptive presets. Uh, really got supercharged with Mask AI coming in Photo Raw 2023. Hope you enjoyed the video. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.